Day 21, lower body, let's go. Starting with your ankles, relax your feet underneath you. Have a sit up, then sit back down, your bum to your heels, sit back up. If you want more of a stretch, hold it there or walk your hands behind you, lifting your knee one at a time to stretch out your anterior ankle and your shins. It's up to you whether you move through this or if you hold still, as long as you feel the stretch in the front of your ankles and into the front of your lower leg. We then go into the plantar fascia underneath our feet. So tuck your toes under, make sure your pinkies are under as well. Have a sit down onto your heels, or if you need to sit up, sit back, sit up, sit back. Again, hold it there or walk your hands behind you for a little bit more pressure. You'll get a slight stretch in your quads as well, whatever feels good for you. If you need to move out of this pose at any point, do so, it's pretty intense. Next up, we go knee over toes. So into a low lunge position. If you bring your left foot underneath you, not too far forwards, and you're lunging forwards and down, so add a bit of pressure to your thigh, you're taking your knee over your toes. So you're stretching into your soleus, the bottom of your ankle here. Again, keep moving through this slow movements or hold still with applied pressure onto your quads. Keeping your ankle down on the floor, your back legs relaxed. Remember if you need anything under your knee at any point, use a cushion. Make sure you change sides. Repeat the same principles. You're probably gonna feel one side is a little bit more rigid, a little bit more resisted. Same again, keep moving or hold still. Okay, coming into a plank position, big lunge forward with the left foot outside your left hand, we go into the world's greatest stretch. You can keep your back knee up or have it down and then go into five rotations, reaching up to the ceiling, elbows close to your ankle and the ground as you can get. Once you've done your five, bring your hands back down to the mat and hold it there. You can bring your elbows down, you can lift your back knee up if you want more of a stretch. Still breathe in. Keep that back leg active if you've got your knee off the ground. Feel the stretch in those hips. As always, change in size, so step back to plank, wriggle it around and bring that right leg forwards outside your right hand. Straight into the twists and then we're into the hold. Next up are our adductors. So in a kneeling position, hands and your knees, straighten your right leg out to the side, and you're just gonna hinge your hips backwards towards your heels. If you go five times, and then once you've done your five, have a sit all the way back if you can, reaching your hands out in front of you. So you should feel a stretch down that right leg, down the straight leg. Hold it here, and then change to the other side.
And finally, into the glutes. So having a sit down on your bum, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, and you're just gonna lift your hips, rocking forwards and backwards five to 10 times. So you've got some active movement here. Then once you've completed that, come down into lying. Your leg is still crossed over your right thigh. Hook your hands around the back of your right leg. Bring your knee to your chest and feel the stretch in your left glutes. Holding it here, feeling the stretch in your left glutes, your left hip. You might feel a bit of a shake in your left foot. That's normal. Keep your head down as well. Then whenever you're ready, change sides. So cross that right ankle over, rocking forwards and back five to 10 times, and then having it lie down and going into your hold. So reaching your hand through behind your left leg, pull your knee to your chest. And that's day 21, lower body complete. Good job, guys.